Hi, I'm Craig. Stay tuned for my comments after the video. You have found Turner Classic Movies. Hey, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for spending part of the first official day of winter with us here on TCM. Today we're shining our spotlight on the films of Disney Studios. And coming up next, we've got a family-friendly adventure released by Disney back in 1975. So if you haven't done it already, go get the kids, get some popcorn, and sit down and watch Escape to Witch Mountain. It's the story of two orphaned children with special psychic powers. When a scheming millionaire finds out about these not-so-ordinary kids, he figures he can use them for his own evil purposes, because that's what scheming millionaires do. So the kids decide to run away, trying to figure out where they came from and why they're so special. And I'm certainly not giving anything away when I tell you they escape to a place called Witch Mountain. As you're watching, you'll see plenty of kid-friendly special effects, nothing too eye-popping for today's movie audiences, but still kind of fun in a 1970s Disney kind of way. Cast includes Eddie Albert, Ray Milland, and British actor Donald Pleasance, who is just a few years away from taking the role he may be best remembered for, as Dr. Sam Loomis in the classic slasher flick Halloween. From Disney in 1975, the thoroughly wholesome and decidedly unslasher like Escape to Witch Mountain.
Escape to Witch Mountain was a moderate hit for Disney when released in 1975, so it should come as no surprise that a few years later, Disney brought those two cute kids back to the big screen one more time with a sequel, Return from Witch Mountain. In the sequel, Kim Richards and Ike Eisenman reprised their roles as Tia and Tony, but the new adult cast featured Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. If you enjoyed this Disney family film and you'd like to see that sequel, good news. We've got it coming up next, so stick around. Today on Turner Classic Movies, psychic siblings have another earthly encounter in return from Witch Mountain. Then Witch Angela Lansbury commands bed knobs and broomsticks. And Jodie Foster is a freckled imposter in Candle Shoe. TCM carries a flame today. We just watched Turner Classic Movies' intro for Escape the Witch Mountain as it was presented on TCM in December of 2008. This was one of the Disney films TCM ran during a month-long series of movies called The Family Classics. The film featured is Escape the Witch Mountain, which was filmed in 1974 and released in 1975. Disney was dealing with a money crunch in 1974, which may explain why much of this film was shot on location. Also, at this point in Disney's history, they wanted their films to be more realistic, so they went outside of Disney for the director and the music. Believe it or not, for this film, Disney chose director John Huff for his work on the film The Legend of Hill House. And they chose composer Johnny Mandel for his work scoring many big-name films like the original M.A.S.H. Mandel would go on to score another big-name film for Disney a year later, Freaky Friday. Escape to Witch Mountain is based on a 1968 book of the same name written by Alexander Key. The basic story is the same in the movie as it is in the book. Tony and Tia are extraterrestrials with strange powers who are trying to be reunited with their people. But in the book, Jason O'Day isn't a depressed widower driving around in an RV. He's a Roman Catholic priest who sees his mission in saving Tia and Tony from Duranian as a way to fight the forces of evil. In the book, Duranian is working for a shadowy European cabal and not Aristotle Bolt. And in the flashbacks, their spaceship crashes after it is shot down by the Soviets over Russian-controlled Hungary, and Uncle Benet has to rescue the children from the communist-controlled military. Disney dropped the entire religious and political aspects of the book, opting for a more non-secular and non-political story. Escape the Witch Mountain launched a franchise for Disney that includes this film, a sequel, Return from Witch Mountain, released in 1978, a CBS Network TV movie, Beyond Witch Mountain, released in 1982, a Disney Channel miniseries in 1995, and the reimagined remake, Race to Witch Mountain, released in 2009. I liked Escape the Witch Mountain as a kid and continue to appreciate it as an adult. It has more of a gritty and real feel to it than a lot of the Disney films that came out in the 1970s. Of course, part of that is because Disney faced a money crunch at the time, and they also hired an outside director who brought a different style to the film than the usual stable of Disney directors. There are even some scenes in this movie that kind of remind me of the film Jaws. In particular, the scenes where the locals are getting ready to hunt the children. These scenes have the same feel as the scenes in Jaws where the townspeople are getting ready to hunt the shark. I think in both films they cast locals in these roles. It's interesting that both films were released in 1975. If you think about it, the idea behind those sequences is very similar, even though those films were made by different studios with different directors. This video also included an introduction and wrap-up by TCM host Ben Mankiewicz. He delivers a great introduction for this one. You can see him smiling during much of the introduction. This film is one of my favorites from childhood, and by the way he talks about it, I suspect it's one of his too. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com. Stock photos.